Well, storm clouds brewing. Maybe, or maybe not. It's a hell of a ride though. <laughs> So today is all about more miles under my belt really, um, yeah, it's a long ride, it's uh, auto route all the way, um, It's uh, it's got a very strong crosswind well, most of the day with warning signs up saying about the strong winds so that's not been too great, a bit of a battle, but um, yeah it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I'm down past Verzon now. I'm past the halfway mark, I seem to be riding all day, we've still got another nearly 300k to go, so it's a big ride today, uh, five, nearly 600k. But then it pans out and it gets a lot easier, so over the next few days we'll find things get a lot slower, um, pace will slow down, and uh, we'll manage to get some, some scenery in. Uh, I mean, I've seen some lovely stuff today as I've been going along actually, but cause I'm sitting at 70 mile an hour nearly all the way, so between 60 and 70 and um, there's still a oh, pain in the ass. you go to a petrol station uh, even on the auto route and you've got to go in the shop and pay and then they ask you how much you want and you're like I don't know van litre van, uh, van euro can, uh, euro and of course you come out and you put it in the tank and then it's not enough but then if you put too much in you're screwed so you know if you pay for too much or it won't fit in the tank so um yeah, why do you do that? I do not know. I know petrol's expensive, but come on. It's got to be easier ways than doing it, surely. And I've discovered, obviously, that E10 is a lot cheaper than, than E5. E5, I prefer to put in the bike, but E10 is what I'm going with. So, anyway, uh, the journey continues. And, uh, yeah, more motorway. Okay, bit of an update for anybody travelling to France now I'm wanting to use the auto routes um, some of them now are being utilized um, sorry are utilizing the overhead camera system and not traditional payage uh, booths so you don't collect a ticket and you don't pay uh, at a booth or at a payage station you now have to well the, the, the you, you will now be photographed as you go along with the camera which are above the uh, auto route and they will take your number even on the motorcycle got cameras from the back and then you come to a place like this which i'm going to show you now which is the payage uh booth well i've recorded this live so these are the payage booths or the pay booths which you have to approach and uh, once you've pressed various buttons they do actually come up in english um although they're very hard to see and they're quite hard to do um, and it was baffling everybody as to what class you were, um, to, so, so you knew what class your vehicle was. Apparently that's done on the emissions of your vehicle, and if you don't have an emissions certificate from the French, I'm not sure how that works, to be honest with you. Uh, you can also see here that there is actually a guy there, apparently I spoke to him, and he's been there for weeks, comes in every day, just to help people, and mainly French, with sorting this new system out, because nobody seems to understand it. Um, so, interesting, to say the least. So, you can see that the, uh, the wind is fairly blowing here today. Um, it's been a crosswind everywhere I've been on this motorway, and I've been riding on the road now for about, well, I wouldn't say five hours, but I've been stopped and started. So it is, um, it is very windy, though, and it's uh, making life a bit, a bit difficult. Uh, Especially you get behind some of these big lorries, the turbulence is unbelievable. Um, so I did have earplugs in, um, but unfortunately, I don't normally wear earplugs, but I, I did do today, and, but one fell out somewhere. I don't know where it went. Uh, I've got no idea where it went. So that, that's gone. Um, so everything else seems to be okay. Got a little bit of time in the bags to do here now. I've got about another 60 miles to go until I start the hunt for this accommodation. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, quite looking forward to getting there really. Um, had enough riding for today, to be honest with you. Okay, finish off here. Hopefully the next bit will be at the uh, 
for the Airbnb. Okay, arrived. Um, this is great. And an old farm. Um, just the other side of Menton. Probably 10 miles out from Menton, I suppose. Um, excuse me, I'm eating. I'm nibbling. There's nothing around here. I mean, it's completely nothing. It's farmland, beautiful, quiet. Um, so there's a bloody great big German Shepherd just dropped up at the fudge over, hedge over there. It looks beautiful. So I'm now, so I've, I've uh, it's a farm next door. So I'm also um, gonna have a meal here this evening, which I thought was a, a good idea. I was just nothing anywhere near here. And I'll now show you into uh, our room, my room, and, um, I don't know why I said our room, my room, and show you uh, what I got. So the bike's just parked over there. Still windy here. And you've got this lovely farm area. Really old. Beautiful building. And then my chambre is here. And uh, walk in there. Try not to bang your head on that one, which is what I just did a few minutes ago. Andrew Blood. Been very bright. Um, lovely, big, comfortable bed. Fantastic interior. Nice little tray in the corner there. And my nice little touches on the bed here. Look, you know, nice little sweet bag of sweets and stuff. Very lovely. Isn't it? It's so, so nice. And then you've got a little tray over here. The gin, the zero gin's mine, by the way. I brought that with me. You've got tea and coffee and everything down there. Uh, this place comes with breakfast. So we've got breakfast here tomorrow. And as I say, I booked an evening meal as well. And then to come through here, and this is my private bathroom. Shower. And everything else that you would want to see. And a lovely view out of open countryside at the back. So that's all cool. I'm here just for one night. Um, before we start climbing up to sort of more mountainous uh, areas tomorrow. Uh, and into Grenoble. So this may well be the last bit and then I'll put this video out today and then we'll carry on on the road tomorrow. It's been a long day again. I think that's the longest ride I've had to do that. It's 500k and I don't think I'm doing anything as long as that again. I think that's the longest ride. I hope it is anyway because in the wind today it was really really bad. Mm -hmm.